And thanks, thanks to you at home for sticking with us this hour. We are broadcasting live from the Deer Park Tavern in Newark, Delaware. A very big thank you to everybody here at the Deer Park for putting up with us tonight while we make what would otherwise be a very crowded half-price burger night into a very, very, very crowded half-price burger night. Um, the reason we are here, and tuna burgers, thank you. The reason we are here um, is because we're trying to do the best job that we can as a cable news TV show covering a Senate race that was supposed to be one of the boring ones this year. But it's one that has ended up riveting the entire country. I'm not a witch. I'm nothing you've heard. I'm you. Me specifically? I'm not sure you mean me specifically. I'll go to Washington and do what you'd do. I'm Christine O'Donnell, and I approve this message. I'm you. You know... If you're me, Republican Senate candidate Christine O'Donnell, if you're me, then I have some questions for me, by which I mean you. Should there be a federal minimum wage? Why do you think privatizing the VA is a good idea? You said last week that Jim DeMint is the senator you most admire. The day after that, Senator DeMint said, again, that gay people should not be allowed to be school teachers in America. Do you agree with him on that? Senator DeMint also said a pregnant single woman should not be allowed to teach school in America. Do you agree with him on that? How about a man who has had sex outside of marriage? Could he teach school? How will you check on that? Do you have a specific virginity test in mind as a prerequisite for getting a teaching job in America? One for men specifically. I came to Delaware today with a whole sheaf of questions I would like to ask the Republican Senate candidate here. I did get an interview with the Democratic Senate candidate here, Chris Coons. That was fascinating, actually. We will have that for you in just a moment. Uh, but in terms of equal time, we spent a very long time before we came down here and then a very long resourceful day here trying to arrange an interview with the candidate herself, with the Republican candidate, or with any staffer from Christine O'Donnell's campaign, with any volunteer from Christine O'Donnell's campaign, with any random Delaware voting supporter of Christine O'Donnell, with anyone, anyone who lives and votes in Delaware who would talk with us about why they were supporting Christine O'Donnell. We got Zippo. We got, actually, we got less than Zippo. We got zip. They will not talk. They will not allow anybody to talk, which itself is fascinating to, do, to, to, to see and to report on in person. Coming up a little later on in the show, uh, I'll show you what happened when we took our ill-fated trip this afternoon to Christine O'Donnell headquarters in Wilmington today. It didn't go well. But even as everyone admits that it is the idiosyncrasies of the Republican candidate in this race that have drawn and now hold national attention here, the reason I'm glad we came... What we found since we've been here is that the common wisdom about where Democrats are at in this election, Democratic voters, that common wisdom appears to be wrong. Today, the Democratic Senate candidate telling older voters at a senior center in Newcastle County that Delawareans do not care about what the former governor of Alaska, meaning Sarah Palin, and a senator from South Carolina, meaning Senator DeMint, have to say about Delaware politics. He said this is a Delaware race and that Delawareans do not want, in his words, to be used as a ping pong ball in these national fights. That is the common wisdom, right? And there's definitely some support for that here among the tuna burger eating hordes at the Deer Park Tavern. But the national narrative about this race is that there's sort of a national conservative resurgence, right? That conservatives are mobilized nationally. They want nationwide revolution. They want to take their country back, as they say. But the common wisdom is also that Democrats are thinking smaller. Democrats don't want any part of those national fights, those big picture ideological, what does it mean to be a Democrat versus what does it mean to be a Republican fights. The common wisdom is that Republicans are thinking nationwide, thinking big. Democrats are thinking about potholes. That is not what I'm hearing. It is not what we are seeing from Democratic voters. And we're not doing scientific polling here. This is just what we're seeing. But it is what we're seeing. I wonder if you thought, that maybe you've already done it, and I'm unaware, thought to ask or even to challenge your opponent and any other Republican to document their concern over deficit spending between 2001 and 2009. <laughs> if, if my opponent and John Carney's opponent says over and over and over, we're concerned about the debt, we're concerned about the deficit, and that means we can't do any more deficit spending, we can't do any more investment to try and get the country back on track. Aren't they just ignoring that for the previous eight years, 
We moved from where we were in 2000, where we had a surplus, to where we are today, uh, where we've got a huge national debt. I agree that the national debt is a big problem that we need to address. And I agree that we've got some folks who are conveniently forgetting that our previous administration took us to war in two countries, dramatically expanded Medicare, and gave a huge tax cut all at the same time and in a way that wasn't paid for, and that put us in this problem. So. Please call them out for the hypocrites they are. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at the Mid-County Senior Center uh, in Newcastle County, Delaware, and uh, before this event broke up, I wanted to talk to uh, Dr. Gilbert Sloan here, who asked uh, a rather impassioned question at this event. Uh, Dr. Sloan, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Um, you asked Chris Coons um, not just about the deficit, but you said your opponent and all these Republicans keep talking about um, the deficit now. How come you guys aren't pressing them more on what they thought about the deficit between 2001 and 2009? Um, why, why did you ask that question? Because I want to see uh, the dishonesty and the hypocrisy of the Republicans generally, and Christine O'Donnell in particular, called out. These people had every opportunity to say something about deficit spending between 2001 and 2009 when the, one of the major causes of deficit spending was the insanity in Iraq. And so I put it to... Senator Coons, uh, future Senator Coons, uh, to ask uh, May to challenge O'Donnell and the other Republicans to document their vociferous opposition to defer deficit spending then. The, um, the way that this race is getting talked about, essentially, is that Christine O'Donnell is running a national campaign. She's trying to talk to the country, talk about national issues. Uh, sort of not even really talking about how they get filtered through Delaware. Mr. Coons is talking about Delaware, Delaware, Delaware. That's sort of, I think, the frame with which everybody's approaching this. And in there, listening to you and listening to the other questions that Chris Coons was getting asked, I didn't feel like that was true. I felt like there's a lot of national values questions, big picture questions about difference between Democrats and Republicans, national questions that you guys here in Delaware really are concerned about. Do you, does that seem right to you? Of course we are. Yeah. And I almost hate to use the phrase, but Chris Coons is a deep thinker. He actually reads books. Uh, in contrast to his opponent, uh, who is as shallow as can be and is floating on a sea of notoriety. Uh, and Chris, along with his predecessor, Joe Biden, uh, who also reads books, uh, has a view uh, and a profound view uh, of what the world ought to be like and what America's role in the changing world ought to be. Do you believe that Republicans are more excited for the elections this year than Democrats are? I keep reading that's the case, uh, and I find it hard to believe because I'm pretty excited about this election. <laughs> so I can only speak for myself and say that uh, it's a... Uh, a critical election because uh, it's really a, a choice between uh, sanity and total flat-out craziness. Uh, people are saying things, the, the earth is flat. Chris Coon says he doesn't want to discuss with his opponent uh, her personal attributes, but they merit discussion. Yeah. She says things that are flat-out loony, you know, the mouse and human brain business. Uh, which, of course, is of a piece with, uh, with Sarah Palin's uh, criticism uh, of a grant for the study of fruit flies, totally unaware that fruit flies are a great vector for the study of genet genetics. So these are people who just don't know about the real world. Dr. Gilbert Sloan, uh, thanks for coming out here and participating in your civic life here in Delaware, and thanks for taking time to talk to us. I really appreciate real it. Pleasure. It's real nice to meet you, Gil. Thank, Thank you. you. Likewise. Thanks. <clears throat> the common wisdom is that Democratic voters are not fired up this year. The common wisdom is that not only aren't Democratic voters fired up, they certainly aren't fired up about being Democrats, about what Democrats stand for, that they aren't fired up against what Republicans stand for right now. Democratic voters, senior citizens in Newcastle County today told me and told the Democratic Senate candidate here that they wanted to talk about their belief that the Republican in this Senate race is nuts that they think what Republicans are running on as a whole this year is nuts. That health reform is something to be proud of and that Democrats ought to brag about it. That the yeah. GI Bill, 
that the GI Bill is something to be proud of and that Democrats ought to be bragging about the GI Bill, that privatizing Social Security is an assault, that we ought to hear more about why we pay taxes for government services and why stuff the government does matters, because it does. This is not a Daily Coast convention. This is Delaware. But Democratic-leaning voters here sound a lot more like the electorate who elected Barack Obama in a near landslide than they sound like the we don't care, the we don't care, we're maybe Republicans now electorate that we keep reading about in the Beltway press every day. Please call them out for the hypocrites they are. <laughs> I think one thing that has, the national media has to do for the populace in this country is explain what taxes are used for. Hmm. People do not understand that you have to pay for the road. You have to pay right. for the school. You, you right. have to pay for the hospital. Right. You have to pay those things. You Thank want the you results. These people that don't yes. want to pay into health care, if anything happens to them, they want the best of care. If you want the best, you have to pay in America. And how can you cut taxes, go to war, have two wars, cut taxes, and still continue to want to cut taxes? Well, how are you going to run the country? Thank you. I have a question about Social Security. We know it's different from Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, the question is, uh, uh, I believe it's under siege. People are trying to eliminate it. Uh, for us, it's not a problem because we're already collecting or close to it. But our children and so forth, especially lower income, need that guaranteed income. Right. I guess the question is, uh, will you make a pledge uh, or consider a pledge and call out your opponent to do the same thing? to basically protect Social Security as it is today. The thing I'm like, so upset you? about is the overturn of the law where corporations can buy an election, okay? Yes. The Supreme it's Court it's overturned 100 years of law, and now any corporation in America can buy an election. I think we have to thank government for that GI Bill and for us to understand the place of government in the future of, the, of America because the things it gave us permitted us to raise children who could go to college and their children could be contributors to our country and we are in a position now where those who are trying to dumb down our government are really making an incredible mistake for ordinary people in America. I, I, thank you. Thank you. Common wisdom, meet Delaware. Delaware, meet common wisdom. Kaboom. So buckle up, we've got some star local journalists. We've got our disastrously failed trip to Christine O'Donnell headquarters. We've got my interview with the Democrat. She is up against Chris Coons. And we've got lots more ahead. We are live at the Deer Park Tavern in Newark, Delaware.